This is Jerry with Balanced Community Slack Science. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Eldorid, Edelrid Eddy as used as a slackline brake. Um, on initial look, there's a few things that I notice. Um, for one, this is much slimmer than even the Grigri. So I believe it's going to be nice to embed this brake because of how slim it is, especially with the three inch SMC pulleys. And another thing is um, the anchor hole, it's quite wide. Too wide for our 5 16 inch twist and D shackles. So I've had to modify my pulleys to accept a larger twist shackle. Um, I'm using a 12 millimeter twist shackle with this. I have a feeling that the 10 millimeter might work, but I'm not sure because I haven't tested it yet. And uh, some other things to note is the loading, the loading of the rope. It's a little different than the Gree Gree, opening it up here. It goes the opposite direction. The Gree Gree goes this way. The Eddy goes this way. And um, cool thing to note is it accepts 9 to 11 mil ropes, as you can see here. Zoom in a little bit. Which is good, a good size range. Um, we're going to test it with 11 mil rope today just to see how high we can get. And uh, as you can see, the cam, how the cam works. And I don't have the Grigory with me today, but I can tell you that the cam size is roughly identical to the Grigory. Um, also, there's a cool feature on the handle. Uh, if you pull too hard, the cam will close automatically. This, I could see this being a hassle sometimes, but um, we only know once we test it. So uh, yeah, let's see how much force we can get using right, this. So way. before we get started here, I've got the eddy embedded in here. As I noted before, it fits super nice in there. I'm using the SMC three inches here. And um, that's, there's a ton of room and I can see that accessing the handle is gonna be really simple. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be great. Something to note, as I mentioned before, I'm having to use a 12 millimeter twist shackle. It will not normally fit through the Beckett. I have dremeled out my Beckett a little bit. As you can see there, oh, too far. The shackle will not normally fit through the Beckett hole. I have a feeling the 10 millimeter twist shackle might work, but I'm not sure, I haven't tried it yet. Um, but yeah, let's see how tight we can get it using a, the Elite Multiplier Kit. All right, finished tensioning using the Elite Multiplier Kit. And wow, very impressed. Um, yeah, I got 2856, which if you remember from my brake comparison video, um, that's higher than the ID. And at a fraction of the cost, very, very nice. So um, what I'd like to do now is 
test the detensioning, but first I'm gonna add another multiplier and take it up to like 3,500 pounds. I'm not gonna test it at the low tension detensioning because um, if it's easy at high tensions, it'll be easy at low tensions. So yeah, let's take it to a higher tension and release the tension. All right, so we're at a higher tension now, 3340, uh, and I'm gonna test the detensioning. So let's do it. All right, that was very controllable. There was a little bit of uh, effort involved with pulling the handle initially, but again, I was at pretty high force, so uh, that's to be expected. Much easier than the Gree Gree or the Rig. Maybe not the ID, but comparable, definitely. And at a price point of just 130 roughly dollars, um, this brake is phenomenal. I highly recommend it for embedding inside the 3-inch SMC's. Um, I will try try later the um, Rock Exoticas to see how well it fits inside them. But uh, it is my suspicion that they'll work very well, aside from the problem with the shackle, the twisty shackle. Um, yeah, I think I think the Yeti is a fantastic device. That's um, a good option for people. A good mid-level break. Um, yeah, that concludes this testing of the L Edelrid Eddy. Uh, again, my name is Jerry with the Balanced Community Slack Science. You can view more videos like this and articles at slackscience.com or balancedcommunity.com. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.